and to actually put on the plate and the different shapes of plates and what different patterns would be created because of those shapes. Um, but what we were really testing was what frequencies create the most interesting repeatable patterns because that was a key point. So we ended up playing pretty much every audio frequency through the plate to see what different shapes it would form. And for most frequencies it doesn't really do much, but when it hits a frequency that resonates with the plate it forms a really nice pure shape. So we found out what those tones were and those were the tones we used to dry the plate during the video.